Hi, and welcome to another Havoc Sons video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can upgrade a Dell Dimension relatively cheap. Now, the Dimension is a series of computers that was put out to, by Dell uh, right around the early 2000s. I think 04, 09, <clears throat> maybe as far as 011, I think, 2011. This one here is the lowest... Most bare bones system of all of the Dell Dimension. This is the Dell 1100. This machine had nothing. It actually didn't even have a DVD. It had a CD originally. It came with, uh, I think, 512 megs of RAM. It was a 400 megahertz front side bus. It also had a Celeron, I think, uh, 2 gigahertz CPU. It just was bare bones. And it even, didn't even have a floppy drive, even though it had this piece here but it had a cover which I popped out so I'm going to go over some of the basics on the cheapest most affordable way to upgrade one of these okay so this is the original motherboard that came inside this machine if you notice there's nowhere on there is any SATA ports uh, also um, there is no slot for a PCIe video card or even an AGP slot there is only two slots for memory, but it will hold um, a maximum amount of four gigabytes of memory. It is running, like I said, at about 400 megahertz um, with onboard video only. So we're dealing with um, things like what you see here. Your COM port. Your onboard video, your printer port, two USB, two USB twos, audio, four um, USBs. I think those are twos, and a one hundred megabit a second uh, LAN, a T one hundred. Not a very impressive motherboard. Uh, the the model name of this motherboard is the AAD28751-302. Let me go over a few things on how you locate these. Because all these boards from Dell and Gateway right around this time had three stickers on them that made you think they were identification stickers. There was this one, this one, and then this one right here. It's actually this one here. It usually starts with an AA, and then it'll give you the model number of the board. So when you're looking for your new board, look for the AA sticker, and that'll tell you uh, if you're shopping the right board. The other thing is the proprietary as far as connectors. There's a USB 2 connector that works here that works on a very strange plug that only is uh, capable for the Dow Dimension series. There's also a control, uh, I.O. Pa front panel control uh, plug right here that looks very similar to a USB 2, but it is not. Also, only proprietary to the Dimension systems. So if you get other motherboards to fit in here, neither your control panel off, reset, uh, hard drive light, power light won't work. They won't connect up. And your front USB ports won't connect up as well. And then, of course, you've got uh, down below here, you've got your standard uh, IDE, primary and secondary, and then your floppy drive. Now, the best thing to do, I found, as far as simplicity, is uh, install this motherboard that I have in here. Now, this is the AAC. 231-42-306. Search for that on eBay. It'll come up. You can get these boards relatively cheap. Uh, and these are great little upgrades because the plugs will fit. Um, that what you need. This is a USB, front USB ports. Your controller, uh, I.O. controller here. It has an AGP slot. Not a PCIe. I wish I, it did have. But this is running a... Um, 256 megabyte NVIDIA 5600. 
a GeForce 5600, which is a fairly decent video card, and it'll run everything that you need it to run. Also, I have the bracket that I bought for the floppy drive and the floppy drive and the special floppy drive cable. They're relatively, relatively proprietary. If you notice here, there are two. It has the other ports, uh, as the older board does, two uh, IDEs and the floppy. But in this case, I'm only using one for the uh, IDE DVD ROM. And then I'm using two uh, onboard SATA ports for the hard drives. For the hard drives, I've got 180 gig 10,000 RPM Raptor and 160 gig 10,000 RPM Raptor. <clears throat> now this cupboard comes with what I consider the basic retro rig ports. You got your COM port, printer port, now, right here, you can use the same backing plate for, from the old motherboard because the only difference is that's where the VGA connector went. You could probably just tape that up so that just lays open. You got your two PS2 ports, keyboard and mouse. You have the four um, USBs. You have onboard audio right here. You have um, a... RJ45 T1000. This is a 1000. is a gig, gigabit LAN. And then, of course, the NVIDIA GeForce 4600 carrying 256 megs of RAM. Now, you still keep some of the basics that I really like about this. Um, you can still use the one fan. There's only one fan that runs this whole system. The fan is here, runs through a, uh, a fan uh, cooling funnel that goes through the CPU block, and then it gets sucked in from the front of the unit, goes past the hard drives and into the CPU. Actually, seems to do a fairly decent job. Now, the original motherboard was a 400 megahertz front side bus, and with that, you're not be you're not able to use some of the better. Uh, CPUs that range from that series of uh, that you can find uh, on this type of motherboard. Both boards carry the 478 socket, but again, with the original board being a 400 megahertz front side bus, you know, you're really not going to do much better than an older 2.1 gigahertz 400 megahertz front side bus uh, CPU. Uh, the newer board runs 800 megahertz, which opens up a whole nother avenue. You can run a lot of really nice dual core uh, CPUs running at 800 megahertz that really do well. Uh, what I notice it does best on this, uh, as far as single core, is the, is the Prescott. I love the Prescott. It, it was a very powerful CPU before dual cores came out. Prescott was probably your fastest CPU. It was a single core, but it was a dual thread, and she was quite a motivator. That's what's inside this system right now. I may take it up to a dual core, 800 megahertz, probably 3.4 gigahertz CPU in the future. I also think I may upgrade the power supply, too, because I want to run a more powerful video card. And this is probably one of the most powerful that I've seen. This is uh, the ATI, ATI X. Let's see if you can see that right there. 1650 Pro AGP. This is a 512 video card. This is a nice video card. They're currently on sale. Um, 16 bucks. It's a great deal. Fantastic video card. It won't run um, on this board right now. There's a connector for it, uh, a Molex collect connector. And the reason why it won't is because of that power supply. That power supply, I believe, is only, uh, yeah, 250 watts is the output on this power supply. This video card needs a minimum of 300, 350 watts. So I'm going to upgrade the power supply. I've checked the video card on another similar board. It's actually in a gateway that had a 500 watt power supply upgrade, and it ran perfect. 
So that's going to be uh, down the road. I'm going to upgrade the power supply here. I've got a, a full 4 gigabytes of memory in it. Um, currently, she's pulling out a rated front side bus at 800 megahertz. The Prescott is 3 gigahertz. Uh, and she's able to run all of the games chosen at our next LAN party, which is Dawn of War, uh, Command and Conquer, uh, First Decade, Warcraft 2, and Starcraft uh, Brood Wars. So she's a nice little system, perfectly built. Uh, the upgrades that I spent, I think I spent uh, $5 for the 80 gig, I don't know, twelve, fourteen dollars for the hundred and sixty gig, the four um, gigabytes of eight hundred megahertz memory was probably sixteen dollars. The video card was probably the most expensive. AGP cards are getting kind of pricey. I think I paid twenty nine dollars for that, which is sad because the card, this card, which is so much better, is only sixteen right now, but it won't run on it yet. So this is pretty much my uh, Dell Dimension, which is uh, the Dell Dimension 1100, which basically has the 4600 motherboard in it, and it just drops right in. And the motherboard you can pick up anywhere from $12 to $20 free shipping. Like always, thanks for watching. Those of you who subscribed, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Hopefully I can dial these videos in, make them a little leaner, meaner. And get to a thousand so that I can start getting money for this. I mean, this is a costly hobby, but it's one I love to do. Like always, you have a great day and a better life. See ya.